Hey, what's up guys? Rocket, welcome you back to the channel. And today, highly anticipated day, EA has released some NHL 19 hot information. So we have Hockey Ultimate Team details. Gonna dive right in. Uh, gonna show you guys a screenshot as, as I go along. And also be talking to you guys about a new improvement. I'm just gonna go briefly. Of course, EA has all the information posted on their Twitter page. So I'm gonna jump right in. A lot of new cool features. I'm really excited for this year's game. I think it's gonna be the best NHL game yet. And now, how about we start with the card art. So if you look at this right now, you've got the tiers, so bronze, silver, and gold. Now in past years, Basically, the tiers were based off the league. So, of course, you had the NHL that had gold. Uh, lower ranked leagues had silver and bronze. And this year is going to be different. It's going to be based on overalls. 80 plus overall is going to be a gold rare. So, you got Patrick Kane, 84 overall. Gold common is going to be 74, 79. Look at Rasmus Stalin, 78 overall. Silver, bronze, so on and so forth. As you can see on the screen. I really like the card art. It's really fresh. Uh, it's really clean. I just like the look of it. Of course, if you look at Patrick Kane being an 84, um, I believe 85 is going to be the top overall. So we're going to have less overall cards to start the year, which will allow a lot of room for growth. But we won't see as many different cards, as many quick upgrades as last year. I'm going to go into that later in the video. But of course, lower overall, so we got Patrick Kane 84. Compare, for example, to Sidney Crosby, who was a 90 in last year's game. Now, we're going to jump into this information for EA. I'm going to post the link in the description below. So, what's new? New alumni and legends. If you guys haven't uh, seen my video, I did a video a few weeks ago. My top 10 legends I want to see in the game. Link in the description below. If you guys could check that out, let me know in the comments. Where are the legends you want to see in the game? There's going to be 140 plus NHL alumni player items. So, basically, there's going to be, I believe, 200 total between alumni and legends. So the alumni purse will be available year round from launch and regular store packs. The rest will be released in ways each week. So that's going to be pretty cool. We're gonna, not going to have all the legends uh, released within the few or at least not the alumni. Not releasing uh, right at the start. We're going to have something to look forward each week for new players. So 63 NHL legend player items to add to your team. So this is uh, the one I'm really looking forward for them to release the legend list. Uh, four ways to obtain legends, guys. So let's go below. Number one, sets. So legends are available in sets set launch. And this is really cool. If you want a 99 overall Gretzky, he's going to be basically like a master set player. Uh, there's going to be another 99 overall legend, which they have not released yet. Really looking forward to see who that's going to be. 30 regular legends from sets, you'll need to get the base alumni player item from the regular store pack or the auction house and upgrade it three times through the legend sets. So there's going to be a lot of ways to trade in cards, uh, trade in stuff to get new uh, items in the game which is really cool with the sets. So untradeable legend collectible, I think it may be similar to how you get a Ginline Yager in the past game. So each ultimate legend set requires you to trade in 45 legend collectibles. We will reward you with a 99 overall Legends player item. That's going to be really cool. Monthly collectibles. So again, you can trade in some uh, collectibles here or obtain a daily login pack. So we're going to have a daily bonus as well if you want to log in each day, uh, each month up to including April 2019 for the rewards. Now, these are uh, new things in the game. Milestones. Seven Legends will be obtainable as rewards for completing four uh, full milestone groups. So this is really cool because you got actual in-game tasks like scoring goals, completing sets, and taking shots. If I take an, an example, MLB The Show 18 for Diamond Dynasty, you can unlock legends or they're called legends basically in the game, legends or flashbacks, by doing uh, challenges like amount of hits, amount of strikeouts. And I really like the fact you can do that in a NHL 19. So you can grind certain challenges. It makes, uh, makes it fresh every time if you want to do new challenges to get a milestone. You'll also learn, earn a lone item of the legend increases in overall the closer you are to completing the set. And I'm going to get to that a little later on. They have loan players. So you can actually loan a player you want to try to, to use on your team. You can see how he'll fit on the team before actually buying him. So basically, if you want to test a player, you'll see if he's worth buying or not. I find that's really, really cool. 
Uh, one, other, one other thing, they have legend packs. They're not, not always available. When they are, they'll have a purchase limit. Guarantee the item legend from a pre-selected pool at a high price. So something to look forward to as well. Now, this is new to NHL um, 19, to Hunt 19. Back to what I was saying about MLB Diamond Dynasty, how they have like missions to do. This is really cool. So you got progression. Complete all progression objectives. So if you want to win five games, complete five hut challenges, and complete five sets, it will give you some coins. So it'll be a way to grind to get some more coins, uh, packs, set items, etc. Variety of objectives for you to compete uh, in your hut journey. Every day, there'll be a new daily objective. So it'll keep uh, something fresh every single day, something new to look forward to. Really excited for that. If you look at the layout as well, the layout is all black gray compared to last year's layout. I personally like this layout uh, better. Really looks nice. Now, milestones. Also new to NHL Hut 19 or milestones. Long term tasks with big rewards. So you work towards as you progress in Hut. Uh, rewards include legends, loan items, coins, and more. So, some examples of milestones include goal, challenge, stars earned, objectives completed. Uh, so that's one way to improve your team and what I mentioned earlier the lone players you have an example right here Rasmus Dahlin 78 overall gold untradeable so of course you can loan it for a um, Limited duration I'm not sure if you'll be able to use him like an online player if we be just versus computer That'll be uh, interesting to see. I mean if you have one important game you want to when let's say you're really close to like let's say top 100 you'll loan a really really good player will they let you use him or will it be just against computer looking forward to find that out as well so from hot challenges to objectives and milestones plenty of ways for you to earn loan players to try on your squad what's changed so this is something that's pretty big rebalancing the economy uh the market really crashed in nhl 18 if you looked at the beginning of the year cars how expensive they were at the end of the year, a legend was 5 to 10k at the most, so cars lost their value a lot. I think NHL 19, uh, one of the priorities is for them to maintain that uh, economy in the auction house. So lower overalls, as I mentioned at the start of the video, we're starting a lower overall rating them in previous years. Uh, generally ranged from 50 to 85 overall, of course, exceptions for alumni and legend. So it'll be a wider gap between regular players and legend items. That is pretty cool. Kind of the same idea as MLB 18, a gap between regular players and immortals. So a lot more room for sad growth throughout the year. But this, I'll discuss it later in the video. We won't have each week, let's say each week a player has a team of the week. It won't go 91, 92, 93, for example. And I'll talk to that later. So it changes bronze, silver, and gold players. Um, as I mentioned, the screenshot, of course, basically, it goes by the rating instead of by the league. So 50 to 55, 56 to 61, so on and so forth. If you look at 80 plus, it's going to be the highest rated player. So anything 80 plus, if you pull in a pack, is going to be big. Compared to last year, NHL 18, where it was really high 80s, was what you were looking for at the start of the year. Now, this is a big change. So, changes to live content. In HUD 18, there were four types of daily content per items throughout the year. Uh, it looks like flashback is going to be removed. We're still going to have the team of the week, milestone, and prime time. Although, the overall won't always increase when they get new items. If you look at this, a uh, player is not only able to receive one attribute bu a boost, a player is only able to receive one attribute boost per calendar month. So if a player gets multiple team of the week items still, or multiple milestone or prime times, the synergies in card art, basically a type of card, will change. So um, as in NHL 18, when a player was already 99, let's say, for example, Ovechkin, he would get a new card, his overall, of course, was already maxed. It would add synergies. So it's going to be the same type of idea, but the players won't go up as fast. Since a player can only earn one attribute boost per counter mine, they'll receive a plus three boost to their stats instead of a plus one. So basically, uh, the players that are better will get more boosts and more synergies and more consistent value throughout the year. Now, changes to player items in packs. So in Hot 19, and actually, while I'm going on this, I just got off of work. Some of this I'm reading for the first time with you guys, so bear with me. 
trying to read and talk at the same time. So all types of players will be available in all base packs. Okay. Find gold rare items in bronze packs and bronze items in gold packs. So in NHL 18, of course, you had to buy a specific pack, get a specific player. So that's really interesting. So the difference between the packs will be a probability you have of getting a specific item. So amounts of rares, amounts of gold. So based on this, so let's say you can get golds in uh, bronze packs, but they're more likely in gold packs, basically. So different price points for standard packs, gold plus, gold silver, gold, silver etc. And um, okay, so there'll be packs with one player item regularly available in Hut Store for the launch of NHL 19. So that's a pretty cool uh, new feature they have revamp trade in sets. So this is pretty cool. Now, in NHL 18, they had trade in sets, but they weren't really uh, worth it, to be honest. In this one here, uh, you have more value. So five bronze common players, you get one bronze rare players. Five bronze rares, you get one silver common, so on and so forth. Uh, you can get re-roll your goals. So if you have goals you won't use anymore, you can try to trade them in for a better goal. So that's pretty cool here to have the trade-in sets. Now here, simplify consumable items. Each year we see complaints about the complexity of getting and applying consumables in HUD. Have an arm injury or leg injury to your player, you had to scroll down your list of consumables. Uh, same goes for contract. So only one contract item, 10 game contract. So unfortunately, contracts are still in the game. Was kind of hoping they'd be not more, any more in it. But one healing item for a three game, any injury healing. So thank you, EA, for that. It'll save a lot of time if your players are hurt. There'll also be a gold contract pack available in the hut store at launch. So allow players, uh, your players to have the contracts if you want to grind online play at the start. And of course here on the last two points, position locking. One of the biggest complaints you saw last year was players position locking, take advantage of the AI online mode. So position lock is gone. Thank you very much. Single player season, you move the single player season experience into a brand new set of hot challenges. This allows us to streamline the mode, provide a more engaging user experience. So overall, really looking forward to NHL 19. I find that they have a lot of changes, a lot of stuff that the community was looking for. It's going to be better for the market. I think keep the market uh, where it needs to be. Uh, cars will maintain their value. We won't have as many cars going up quickly. Uh, the overalls are lower, which allow a lot of growth. A lot of different ways to obtain coins and players. Of course, a lot of legends to look forward to. You can have loan players, a lot of different ways to make the sets. If you want to trade in some old cars to get some new ones. EA has released the top 50 overall players of the league uh, for NHL 19's rating. So if you see that, the first 25 and then the top 25. This is going to be the ratings for franchise reverses, etc. Not the ratings for HUD. Uh, nevertheless, those are your top 50. I will be doing a video soon, guys, discussing my opinion on the top 10 uh, goaltenders in the game. Of course, uh, highly debatable list, to be honest. Some of these I don't really agree with. Some of the choices I do agree with. Going to be uh, discussing that in a video. Of course, EA has released also the top 10 rookies. If you go on their Twitter page, they'll be releasing that. So, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments your opinions and thoughts on the game. Percy, I can't wait to use it. Um, Percy, I can't wait to play the game only. Uh, less than two weeks left now, guys. Until then, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Have a great day.